Morning traders, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So yesterday was totally unexpected. Um, we've got missiles flying all over the world, and uh, it's not a problem. Buy a step in and uh, drive the market higher. Anyway, uh, caught me out trading the news, which was stupid. So uh, lesson learned, I suppose. Okay, uh, DAX very much still in a range. Uh, this level at the top here. Uh, uh, 15, let's just call it 15,600, um, is a previous all-time high. I do suspect that that's still going to be a tag, especially with this engulfing bar that we got yesterday. But uh, yeah, we'll, I'll wait and see. You can see we had a pretty good green bar here and then it fell off. So yesterday's move was pretty significant, I think. And let's just see if we get continuation. If we can get continuation, then all-time high is definitely on the cards. But that does break this range, and then that sets up a much bigger measured move of like that. Okay, um, and that takes us to 14.489. Let's get rid of this noise. Uh, if we just come down to some lower time frames, you'll see what I mean. We had a gap below all the moving averages, below the 200 EMA. And then immediately the buyer stepped in and drove it all the way up. Okay, so you know, I'm looking for confirmation of a trend. Still don't have confirmation of a trend on the four hour or the three hour. And uh, I'd like to see a retest of this at the moment. If I look at the oscillator at the moment, it is indicating we're probably going to get another move to the downside. Okay, we do have a little gap here right over there so I'd expect that gap to close probably close at the open and the big question is is that top of range as you can see or are we going to break that to get to the all-time high okay oscillators are indicating a pullback first the one significant thing here is high very low higher low high higher high so that is a fairly strong uh, bullish signal but again i think we are in a range and this is near the top of the range so uh, i'll just wait and see what happens i don't think i'm going to commit much to this until i can see um, a breakout i'm looking for a breakout out of this range if we can get the breakout on the daily then i'll definitely start committing to something in here but for now we look at the hour, we're pretty close to top of range. And if you look at the 12 minutes here, you can see we had a pretty strong ready and then a sell off as there's profit taking near the top of the range. So the question is whether this little wedge here is going to play out. We're going to get a deeper retracement. And I think that's probably what we need to, to look for. So. If we just put that in there, um, 13.283, if, 13, if we can pull back to 13.283 and hold it, in other words, get some kind of rejection bar on the hour, a pin bar or inside bar or engulfing or something off this level, any kind of price action off this level, that's indicating along, that we can have a really tight stop and then uh, pretty much aim for the top of the range again and possibly a breakthrough of the range and I say possibly because you know the range is going to be stronger than what um, any potential breakout is and we're going to need some kind of news or or some kind of political chaos to drive this um, higher okay so so yeah I think that's pretty much my two cents on this at the moment I'm not looking to chase longs at this area. Uh, if we do get a decent pullback and find a level with another higher low, and what you can also do is just put a Fibonacci on and just keep that Fibonacci level in, in your back of your mind as well. Uh, 61.8. So now I have between this area and there's another fractal there and there's a 200 EMA. So if price comes in here and any sort of positive price action inside this zone, 
which is between uh, 13 to 83 and 13 to 05. Any positive price action in this zone will see me long. Okay, uh, not interested in the shorts. Not at this stage, not looking at what I see here. We've had a move, pullback, and a second measured move. So, um, And this is just a, a relatively strong pattern that could indicate a breakout. You're looking for another pullback and a third higher low. Sorry, I'm going to make this really messy now. So you can see a gentle pullback into this area here on the 61.8 in line with this trend line. And we are forming a channel. Okay. So anything in this area here is what I'd be looking for long. There's only really a break below the low of yesterday that's going to get me out of this. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the DAX. We don't think the Ichimoku is going to give us anything of value. Not while we stuck in this range. Okay, the 12 minutes you can see we had all this chaos here. Then we had the crossover breakthrough rally. So using the 12 minutes, Ichimoku you could have actually made you some Tom. I wasn't trading this. I was getting hurt on other instruments. Um, the half hour is bullish. Same scenario in the cloud here and then broke through. And the hour is also bullish. Pretty much the same scenario. And the four hour is bullish now as well. But again, with the four hour, we need to see a pullback. We want to see a pullback back onto pretty much there or onto the cloud, which is exactly where all the levels are. Okay, I want to see some kind of a pullback there. And the daily is confused okay flat keys and flat tickets and it's indicating range we know we're in a range so um yeah before we commit to any long-term or medium-term trades that range has got to break okay so that's it for me today guys um waiting for the pullback if we do get a pullback then it is long and uh the pullback we're waiting for is pretty much back to a Fibonacci pullback or to a level. And there are enough levels in amongst Fibonacci for that to happen. So you've got 200 EMA, you've got this level here. Um, it was a solid move yesterday, so I am kind of leaning towards a continuation. We just need the bulls just to gather their, gather their thoughts, gather their, their tools and uh, start buying. Okay. Anyway guys, hope that helps and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.